In this screencast, I'm going to, to show the new features uh, we have added for iPhone 5 support. And the very first thing I'm going to do is to create a new uh, FindMonkey mobile application, bank application. And as you notice on the drop down for the device, there is a new entry which is called iPhone 5 and it features the iPhone 5 uh, form factor. So this is the iPhone and this is the iPhone 5. Uh, there is a new option on tools options uh, which allows us to select which device is going to be used by default when, when creating uh, new mobile forms. This option is located in tools option and form designer default mobile device. Here uh, we can select which uh, device is going to be created when creating a new mobile form. This is very useful if you are working for the iPhone 5 mobile factor or the iPhone uh, when you create a new form this is going to be created with the form factor we choose there we can for example choose the iPad and then create a new mobile form and then you get the, the iPad here Okay, so I'm going to change it to iPhone 5 again. Then I'm going to create a new empty mobile application. Say no. Okay, so in project options, uh, we can select a new splash screen. for the iPhone 5 form factor, okay? This is the uh, regular uh, iPhone, this is the iPhone 4, and this is uh, the iPhone 5, okay? I'm going to use one I have already selected here, this one, okay? Just to show you what happens with the status bar and all of the stuff when, when uh, writing an application for the iPhone 5 and for the sake of this sample I'm going just to place two buttons on the corners so you will see that we are using the um, uh, all the the full screen for the iPhone 5 and to uh, run uh, this application on the iPhone 5 uh, simulator just double click here on this node inside the uh, iOS simulator platform and that's it. Let's run. And this is our application. This is the uh, iPhone uh, 4 inch uh, Retina display. I have selected the the zoom to be uh, 75% if I choose 100% you know it's not very well seen so I'm going to return back to 75% and then I'm going to go to the home screen and run the application from here so you can see the splash I don't know if it can be appreciated on the screencast but you know the status bar is, is shown when the splash is uh, loaded so you have to take that into account when designing your uh, splash screens for the iPhone 5 or for any uh, iOS applications and in this case uh, I'm going to show you also how you can get rid of this uh, status bar if your application doesn't need it, needs it so for that just select the form and then change the property border style to be as known design time you see the status bar disappears and I'm going to move this also here and run the application again Okay, and now we don't have any status bar and we are uh, using the, the whole uh, screen real estate for our, uh, for our application. Uh, thank you.